We first bred uh, Southern Crow with Frogs back in 2006. Um, it was an amazing experience. We only had one male and two females at the time. When I first saw the eggs, I was so astonished. I actually thought that they were slug eggs and I uh, had to go and get my boss because I just couldn't believe that this could actually be happening. And when we sort of sorted through it and unpacked it and realised they really were crowberry frog eggs, it was probably one of the most proudest moments of my life because um, it really made me think, we can do this. We could actually bring them back from extinction. And to go from three adult frogs producing 46 eggs to 2,000 eggs a season, um, I couldn't be more prouder of what we've been able to achieve. So we've had huge success with breeding crabby frogs here now. Um, it's you know we started back in 2001 in raising tadpoles, and from that um, time we've learnt a huge amount in pioneering the way we are actually keeping these frogs in captivity. I have a really positive outlook on the southern crabby frog. Um, compared to the year when uh, we were told that there was only five calling males uh, and that meant potentially only 20 to 25 females, um, to now looking outside the box and having disease-free enclosures where we know that they're thriving, they know, we know that they're breeding. I mean, it, it's never looked better and we just hope that it just continues to grow. Well, the Southern Crawberry Frog is a alpine species found up in Mount Kosciuszko and it's such a unique Australian iconic frog that being black and yellow, it's really distinct and people can recognise it when through photos. A lot of people actually haven't seen them in the flesh. I love them for all sorts of reasons. I love them because they're little. I love them that they're because they're toxic. I love that every single individual is different. Um, I love the fact that they live on top of our tallest mountain. I mean, what's not to love? They might not be fairy, they might not be as pretty, but um, for all of the advocates and the champions that are involved, we love them because they are an Australian iconic species and we don't want anything to happen to them.